hi guys uh, here again with a uh, word problem it says the sum of two numbers is 37 five times the smaller number exceed four times the larger number by five find the two numbers and so um, in français it is la somme de deux numéros est 37 cinq fois le petit numéro surpasse quatre fois le grand numéro avec cinq. Retrouver ces deux numéros. Okay, so how do we analyze this and find the solution? Okay, solution to the third one. That's the three. So, comment uh, retrouver la solution pour uh, un problème, un tel problème? Okay, so here, what we first do is they said the sum, okay? So how, let, let's help analyze here the preambles. The sum of two numbers. So we know that is the sum of two numbers, okay? Two numbers here. Okay, the sum of two numbers. So we don't know that those two numbers, but we know that uh, we have a smaller number, okay? We have a smaller number, and then we have a larger number. So combining this smaller and larger for these two numbers what do we see say that let x be the smaller number right okay donc on va laisser uh, uh, le variable x être uh, notre petit numéro and let y be the larger number. So, on va aussi laisser y être notre grand numéro. Et c'est comme la question du monde. Et il dit, la somme, ok, la somme de deux numéros, the sum of two, num the two numbers, the sum of x and y, the sum is plus addition, right? So two, uh, sorry, x plus y is equal to thirty-seven. Translate, okay. The second analysis here is five times the smaller number. Five times the smaller number. We said this is our smaller number. Five times x. Five x. Okay. Five times the smaller number exceed exceed four times the larger number exceed so we have four times the larger number we'll, we'll look at the exceed first okay the word exceed we'll look at it um in relation to word problem four times the larger number by five okay by five so now we have five and then we have is equal to so this is what we are saying when i say that um Uh, four exceed three by one, three by one. What do I mean when I say four exceed three by one? All I'm saying is that four minus three is equal to one. Okay, it means there is one added to three will get we give us four. So four exceed three. Four, four is bigger than three one time so the same thing five times the smaller number exceed four times the bigger number the larger number by five so it means here the exceed here is minus okay the exceed here is minus so what how do we now solve these two equations this become simultaneous equation in two variables and so uh, let's say this is equation one just as usual as we saw okay and this is equation two okay equation one and equation two let's take the equation one so from equation one we have that let's make x the subject okay that's the easiest okay keep that and then you never feel uh, any issue in you never have problem in simultaneous equation so x is equal to i maintain the 37 at its position then 
when the positive y crosses the equal to sign to join the 37 becomes negative y okay and let's call this equation three okay so now let's substitute equation put equation three into equation two okay don't on va mettre uh, l'équation 3 dans l'équation 2 okay donc l'équation 2 est 5 fois x okay 5 fois x ici 5 our x here i'll put it in brackets okay minus 4y is equal to 5 okay is equal to 5 okay so our x this x is we are saying that x is equal to this okay so 5 into bracket 37 minus y okay so i've gotten equations in y terms okay so i will now solve for y so let's solve this uh, board mass first that's bracket first 5 times 37 okay when i do 5 times 37 i'll have 1 8 5 minus 5 times y is minus 5y minus 4y is equal to 5. So solving, uh, let me maintain the terms in y and send the, the number to the to join the other number. So I'll have minus 5y minus 4y is equal to 5. Okay, when positive 185 crosses the equal to sign to the other side, we have, it becomes negative 185. So I will have that. You are owing 5y and you go and borrow an, uh, 4y. So in total, you will be owing 9. So minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9y. Okay. So this should be equal to uh, 5 minus 185. You are subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So the result will be negative. So 85 minus 5, that's 180. Okay. So I will have that. Um, I will divide both sides by negative 9. Dividing this by negative 9 and this side by negative 9. The reason why we are dividing by negative 9 is that uh, we want y to stand alone. Okay. So any term um, attached to y will be uh, we want to, to do away with it. So negative 9 divided by negative 9, this cancel out, okay? And so we have that. The negative here too, we cancel the negative here, okay? The negative will cancel out. So we have that um, y here, here the 9s are gone. y is equal to, y is equal to um, 180 divided by, 9 is 20. Okay? So, I've gotten my y, remember. I've gotten my big, my larger number. So, we are now looking for the smaller number. So, let's now go back to equation 3. Okay, what did we say equation 3 was? So, from equation 3, okay? Equation 3, which is this. We, we know that x is equal to 37 minus y so i'll have that x is equal to 37 wherever i see y i put the value it value there so y minus the value of y is 20 okay so i'll have that x is equal to 37 minus 20 is um 17 right 17 so therefore Therefore, he said, find the numbers. The numbers are, therefore, the numbers. The numbers are, so that's 17 and 17 and 20, okay, as required with 17 being the smaller number and 20 being the larger number as 
required. Okay. Uh, donc, uh, quand on fait, when we do the sum of the two numbers, 17 plus 20, we have 37. Okay. We have 37. And when we do, again, five times the smaller number, five times 17, um, the five times 17 is 85. Okay. Exceed four times, four times 20. Okay. Is 18. You see that 85 will be greater than Uh, 80 by 5, right? So that's the our question. Thank you. And um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Mass Best Friends and um, get more videos and understand mathematics.